past couple of weeks, we've been talking with a few of our uh, contributors in regards to uh, mostly around selling season, okay? Because right now, uh, people are preparing to list their homes for sale, and uh, they want to know where the market is. They want to know how it is out there. And you hear chatter in a ton of different areas, and you want to know, you know, is that chatter? Is it is it on point? What are these people saying? What's the newspaper saying? What is the news saying? Um, you know, a lot of times uh, what we're hearing out there is that uh, it's a seller's market, okay, and that there's not enough inventory on the market, yada, yada, yada. What does that all mean? Okay, well, seller's market means any time a home sits on the market for less than about 150 days on average and sells closer to list price, that basically uh, means a seller's market. Keep in mind, too, right now here in Rhode Island, it's a pretty extreme seller's market, okay? There's supposed to be 7,000 plus homes on the market. Right now, we have about 3,300. That is up from uh, 3,100 two and a half or so weeks back, okay? So the market is up 4% in inventory. There's 4% more houses on the market today than there was two and a half, three weeks ago. And what does that mean for you if you're going to think about listing your home? Well, it means that more and more competition is going to be out there. We've seen in March and April, um, you know, homes that were listing were selling in pretty much record-breaking time. I mean, we'd had we'd have bid wars on, on houses, uh, there's so many buyers out there still taking advantage of these super duper low rates. The rates are ridiculously low still. They're much of them are under 4%. I mean, think about that. You can get a conventional, you know, fixed mortgage for 4, 4.1, 4.2%. You could get an FHA, Federal Housing Administration. You can get one of those 3.5% down mortgages with a rate of about 3.5, 3.7. I mean, that is pretty crazy. That's pretty low when you consider that the 40-year uh, average rate is around 9%. So that being said, there's a ton of buyers out there looking for houses. There's not enough houses for these buyers. Okay, so on the selling side of things, obviously you want to make sure you align yourself with an agent that can pull in the proper buyer for your house to make sure that the transaction you know, goes through to make sure that you net the absolute most. From the buyer's side, you want to make sure that you are linked up with a individual agent or a team that has access to properties, you know, all throughout the state, not only um, that are on the market now, but what could be coming on the market. Okay, so there's a lot to, uh, you're no longer just picking any random agent. You're no longer trying to, um, you know, work with somebody that doesn't do a lot of business. I think you should align yourself with somebody that does a heavy amount of listing business, okay, to win in this market.